everyone, so today I am doing an update of what's in my bag. I haven't done one in so, so long. I'll list my previous one down below. I'm pretty sure it was my embarrassing story, what's in my bag video. I told you about like one of the most mortifying, terrifying, embarrassing experiences of my life. Check it out if you want. So today I'm doing an updated one because yeah, I haven't done one in ages and I keep seeing little requests here and there all over my social media of people wanting to see like a new one. So I'm gonna do that today. So I don't remember the technical name of my bag, but it is a Prada. I believe I bought this when I was in Italy. So it's a really cool little memory. It's really special to me. It reminds me of that time. And I love it so much. It goes with almost anything. Like I love the color. It's funny because out of my designer handbags, I have three. I have this and I have two Louis Vuittons and none of them are black so one day I need to invest in a black handbag but surprisingly this color actually does go with almost anything I do want a black one one day though but I just don't know what I want but it's got the two handles and when I first got it it was very structured but it's obviously like worn down a little bit so now it's quite like floppy and boho looking and it has an arm strap as well I have no idea if you can still buy these I'll list the name of it down below and you can do some research if you like I have not cleared out my handbag in a long time I went to Australia like three or four weeks ago and I still haven't even cleared out my bag since then so we're probably gonna find some really random things in here that's what makes it fun right <laughs> I don't know if I have anything in the side compartment so I'm just gonna check those first oh I do what is this ah <laughs> boarding pass this boarding pass was for 5 15 a.m. RIP Wellington to Brisbane on the 4th of April yeah so that's when I went to Australia 4th of April I usually put like important stuff in here like passports and things when I travel but I've obviously put that away sunglasses so these ones you saw in a haul of mine recently my last white fox boutique haul since I got them I have been wearing them a bunch so they're in my handbag for obvious reasons I really like them, they're like so funky and different. Did I really just say funky? Oh, I also have some reading glasses. These ones here are by Dolce & Gabbana. Oh, they're so dirty. Oh, it's so weird because I've got contacts on, so like these are making me really dizzy right now. That's how they look on. People keep asking me to do a um, makeup for glasses wearers and I don't even know how to do makeup while wearing glasses because I never ever ever do my makeup to suit glasses like, I don't wear my glasses that often I wear them more at night time or if I'm not wearing makeup during the day or whatever 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 however I am happy to do some research and try to put together a tutorial for you so yeah if you are still keen let me know but yeah I love these glasses I've had them for so long now and I just think they're very chic and like geek chic geek geek chic I still have my little bag of stuff you know when you travel internationally and you have to put all your stuff in like a little bag hey this is like been or something what's it called you know the stuff you put on tattoos because like when I went to Australia I got tattoos done so I had some of this I also have a spare contact lens these are the AccuView Oasis I've actually switched to the dailies for a while just because my eyes get so dry I like the dailies but I feel like they always fall out of my eyes these ones are the two weeklies I believe and like these are really good but yeah they just start to dry out my eyes after a while and like irritate my eyes a little bit the dailies are better like they don't irritate my eyes but I'll just be like doing something random and then I blink and then my contact just like falls out I'm like <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, I use this brand if anyone cares. I also have some eye drops. I think these are empty. They are. These eye drops are called Sustain Lubricant Eye Drops for hydration. These are legit. That's how they look. They literally feel like lube in your eyeballs, which sounds really weird, but they make your eyes feel so slimy and just like refreshed. They are so satisfying. At New Year's, me and all my friends were like lying there hungover. This is so bad. But we were like feeling like shit and I was like, oh my God, guys, try these. And I like went around and like dropped them in all my friends' eyes. <laughs> this is such a weird story. Everyone was like, oh my God, they feel so good. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Oh my goodness, this lip color. Even my mum wore this and she was like, ooh, I like it. I need to like buy my own one of these. I was like, yeah, because I'm not giving this to you because I love it myself. So greedy. This is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lovesick by Kat Von D. It's one of the new ones I think I bought in a Sephora haul recently, but I was wearing it like every day while I was in Australia. I got so many compliments on my lipstick and it lasts forever. It's such a beautiful color. So if you're looking for a good color, 
by Kat Von D. This one is amazing. I still need to do an updated um, lip swatch video on all the colors I didn't swatch last time. So you will see it on my lips soon, but it is beautiful. Trust me, it's so perfect. It's like the perfect mauve pink that's like on trend at the moment. Love it. I also have a lipstick in Catty by MAC looks like this. A Pro Conceal by LA Girl. I don't know why that's in there, but it is. And last but not least, a Haraw, because every time I get on a plane, I need lip balm. Otherwise, I literally like dry out so badly. I am really, really bad under like air conditioning. Like we have heat pumps and like air con in New Zealand, but we don't use it hardcore. So when I am in an air conditioned environment for like more than an hour, my skin is just like this Hyrule hair, hair is the Sun Protection SPF 15 one, which was obviously very good for while I was in Australia. Lots of sun and my lips burn really easily. <sighs> my skin just sucks sometimes. Hyrule to the rescue. I have Eclipse Mints, which are empty. Slash the lid fell off. Awesome. Is it bad that I low-key want to eat this? Okay, moving on. My phone actually isn't in my handbag, but I thought I would show you my phone anyway, because usually it is in my handbag if I'm out on the go or whatever. I have the iPhone, is it the 6S? I kind of remember, I'm so bad with like technology and things. Like I obviously like technology. I like have computers and phones and cameras and things for my job, but I can never remember the technic, technic, te technical parts of the information. I can't even think properly. I'm so hungry right now. Anyway, it's the rose gold one. This is my screensaver picture. It's me and Hamish. And then this phone case is by... <sighs> people are gonna hate on me. When I unbox this in a vlog, people were like, oh my god, how do you not know who that person is? Who? Do, how do you not know that that designer, blah blah blah. I'm sorry, I'm not good with like fashion designers and stuff. Like, I know of them. I know some of them. But I'm not like a fashion expert. <laughs> at all. Elizabeth Arden sent me this as a gift and I love it. Like I've been wearing it on my phone ever since I got it, but I cannot remember who the designer is. I'm so sorry. If you do know, feel free to list it down below for other people that are interested. It's like a full on glitter with like a winky eye face. I love it. It's so me. Da, da, da. I have a Kindle. I am obsessed with this. Hamish got me this as a gift and it's the best gift I've ever received in my life. Okay. I don't know if that's true. It's one of the best ones I've ever received. I use this every time I travel. I use this at home. I use it all the time like on the go. I am a massive reader So when I travel, I'm a fast reader as well So when I travel I will have to take like four or five big heavy books with me in my luggage Boom there goes my like nine kilo luggage allowance because books are just so heavy to like drag around Whereas with this I can chuck on hundreds of books and I can read as many as I want and it's so lightweight. It's probably lighter than my phone almost. I don't know. It's so good. I have the paper white one I think it's called. One of the last books I read was Mudvayne by Taryn Fisher. Oh, such a good book. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. I've been loving Taryn Fisher and Colleen Hoover lately as authors. I used to be slash still am but I used to be really really into crime um, mysteries and like murder mysteries and stuff like that. So I really really loved Tess Gerritsen. I read like almost all of Tess Gerritsen's books. I also love Karen Slaughter but lately I've been really into kind of like mystery, they're kind of like mystery love stories and like bizarre love stories. They're not just your typical like soppy like oh we fell in love and we got married or like anything like that. It's like really twisted weird stories that involve love as well. Like I love them. They're so good. So definitely check out those authors if you are into reading. And if you've got any more authors you can recommend me for like books like those genres. 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 Then feel free to leave a comment down below. The Never Never series by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher was so good. It was like bizarre and amazing. What else did I love? One book I hated that everyone else loved was no offense if this author watches me which I doubt they do but just in case. The Girl on the Train. Everyone recommended that to me and I was not a fan. It was very, very negative and depressing. Didn't like it. Coming from the girl who reads books about brutal murder. Anyways, yeah, got that in there. <laughs> I have my little um, aftercare booklet for when I got Botox. Oh my god, Shannon, you got Botox? I'll list some videos for you to watch down below. I did a Q&A and I also showed you the process of it in case you're confused. I'm well aware it's a very controversial topic so please watch those videos before you come on here and like so the Botox I got was Dye Sport. Love it so far. <gasps> I have this. My mum bought me this. It is a portable iPhone charger because 
I'm on my phone 24 7 and my phone always dies so my mum bought this for me and it was amazing but it died like it doesn't work anymore so if you have any really 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 good recommendations for like a really amazing portable iPhone charger please let me know because I've bought other ones and like cheap ones they just don't even work like they you try to use it and it's just like nothing happens this one was really really good but yeah it doesn't work anymore it just broke so I have more spare contacts. These are the daily ones I use. They're called One Day Acuvue Moist. Moist. My eyesight is negative at 3.50 in one eye and then the other eye is like way worse but I can't remember what it is. Blah, blah, blah. I have more eye drops because obviously the other ones were empty and I didn't throw them out so chuck some more in there. Logic. These ones are the Blink Contacts Eye Drops. They're not as good as the other ones but they still are good just for like dry eyes and irritated eyes. I have a drink bottle cap. Oh, I need to put this in. So many of you guys, this is hilarious. So many of you guys have been commenting on my videos like, Shannon, you're like missing your little like ball off your earring. And I'm like, I know. My mum bought this for me in Australia like weeks ago and I still haven't put it in because I've just like, do you know how hard these are to put in by yourself? Like to wind them on? It's so hard. But yeah, my mum bought this one for me. It's got like a little diamond on the end of it. So I need to put it in. I have to get Hamish to help me, but he always complains because he's like, my fingers are too fat. I have $2. I have it, the wallet. This one is Prada. I bought this in Dubai, I believe. I didn't actually go to Dubai. I stopped over and I had like a few hours. So I went shopping as you do. This wallet is so beautiful. I actually need help from you guys out there that love like designer things and stuff. How do I clean this? Like it's not grubby grubby, but it's starting to get a little bit dirty just from like handling it. Like what's the best way to approach this? Cause I do not want to ruin it. Also I have like a PU leather, like you know the real shiny leather Louis Vuitton clutch and it has marks all over it from my other handbags like it's just got black lines everywhere like how do I get them off I cannot get them off anyway this is the wallet I really like this because sometimes I can just use it as a clutch or you know I can put it in my handbag in the back I have some what the heck jewelry basics jump rings I have no idea why these are in my handbag I also have a napkin slash in New Zealand we call napkins serviettes I feel like that's so fancy. And then in my wallet, I have a Farmer's Club card. I have one debit card. I've actually got three debit cards in here for different accounts, like business accounts and personal accounts and all sorts of stuff. I have a parking ticket. It's, like, it's not a parking ticket. I've never gotten a parking ticket in my life. I've never had any kind of ticket. I've never had a speeding ticket, parking ticket, nothing. I am really proud of myself for that. This is like a parking ticket as in like I paid for my parking, you know? I have a receipt for Couture Nails, which is where I get my nails done. They are down at Broadway next to the Fish Cocktail Bar. Well, not down Broadway, like down the little alleyway next to Broadway. But yeah, I go there to get my nails done and my eyelashes tinted. I have Sabina's business card. This is where I go to get my eyebrows tattooed. There's some information. She is so pretty. I have a receipt for my doctor. I have a receipt for Let's Face It, which was for my mum's birthday. I shouted her a pedicure. We went and got one together. And then just more cards. I've got a body shop card and my driver's license. And an air points card. And no, I have not gotten my full license yet. I am still on my restricted. I've got my keys. So we have the Porsche and the Master. Got some pills. I've been on this pill for so, so many years. If anyone cares, I'm on Levelin ED. I also have some Nurofen Zavance. I have a necklace. My dad bought me this. It is just like a nice little chain with like a love heart on it. I wear it all the time. So obviously I was wearing it at one point and then put it in my bag. I don't know why. A plaster. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have four dollars in Australian money. Useful. I have a pretty tie, hair tie by EXO Beauty. If you didn't know, my brand EXO Beauty does hair ties. They're really good. They don't kink your hair up. A wall charger, a car charger, a false eyelash covered in hair. <laughs> and then just a bunch of like business receipts, EXO Beauty stuff, like travel receipts and bits and pieces. Another dollar, it is my lucky day. <laughs> and a pen because going to the airport with no pen is stupid. I am a very, very shy, awkward person. So I hate asking strangers for pens and things. So every time I go on a plane, I have to fill out all of my like customs things and I don't have a pen. I just sit there like sweating and panicking that I have to ask someone else to borrow their pen. So I always have one on me. And it's another eyelash. That is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this little what's in my bag video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and 
yeah, feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! And if you can't wait until my next video, here are some that are already up on my channel. The video on the left, you can click on the screen or the link will be in the down bar down below, is a chit chat get ready with me and it's using only drugstore and affordable makeup. I love the bright orange lips. And then the video on the right is a Colourpop um, lipstick try on, you know, lip swatch video. I hope you guys like them.